What's up, air signs? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with your weekly vibes. So, we are about to tap in and see what's coming in for you guys for the week ahead, Monday through Friday. Let's see. This stack getting hard to shuffle because it's big as hell. Alright, so let's see. Never again is in reverse. So, did you think something was over, but it's not really over? Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Ooh, ooh, generous. Somebody about to come through being generous as hell to win your love back. This person want to marry you. So somebody might be coming through with an actual engagement ring is what I'm seeing. Air signs. This person want to be generous to you. They taking freaking control, okay? Don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. So it might be y'all that's mad enough to start a riot. Maybe this is somebody y'all thought y'all was just completely done with. Fed up to the brim. Not looking back. And this person is coming in. There's something here about a tomboy. So, I don't know what that's about, guys. I really don't feel like it go with this rating. I'm going to put it back. If it come back out, then I'll take it. Okay, so this person can have a bald head or a buzz cut. Eviction, kicked out, homeless. Oh, it's coming out kind of crossing. So, I feel like this person... It's like this person in the past, like, the reason why you're really angry about this person coming back into your life is because they could have been on some negative ill will in the past, okay? I feel like this person want to get, want you to, like, relinquish your independence and basically be with them because this person, it's like their love language is, like, taking care of people, and that's the way this person is coming back in as well, air signs, okay? You're the one I want. I truly love you. It's in reverse, okay? You guys have a high level of personal power in one of three weeks. So I say by the end of the week since this is the weekly vibes. But, of course, this is timeless. <sighs> this is somebody y'all could have refused to be a side piece to or whatever the case is. Cloning you is in reverse. They leaving behind somebody that wanted to be just like you. Okay, this person is just noticing that you're not nurturing towards them like you used to be. Okay, intimacy under the moonlight and candlelight. So they want to have a romantic night where you guys could get closer than close. All right, this is somebody that want to act more mature. They want to take a more mature approach because in the past, like I said, they could have been exerting certain power because they really didn't like your independence and how you basically... Well, you know, you had the freedom to be free-spirited. You had the um, emotional, mental, financial, spiritual freedom to, you know, do what you want and be who you want and do what you want in life. You get what I'm saying? And this person really don't like that. Like, this person might be into gender roles and stuff like that. And so, the way that you operate, it truly bothered this person, but at the same time, in your absence, this person is realizing that they haven't been able to quite get over you. So they know some compromise have to be made. Maybe this person is deciding to be less rigid with you, you know, but they also want you to like, I guess, be in more of a submissive role. Okay, so let's see. What's the overall energy for air signs for the weekly vibes? Life purpose that came out too. You inspired this person to get on a life purpose, okay? And that's why they can't let you go because they find peace and inspiration and blessings within your presence and your energy. You get what I'm saying? And obviously, yeah, you're very healing. It's like when you walked out of this person's life, they noticed that they desire and they will for uh, like to get on a life purpose or to heal. It kind of like diminished a little bit. This person like the feeling that you provide they like. 
okay? And that's why they're willing to sacrifice for you because I'm seeing that this person <sighs> think you a vibe. Like, they feel like you a vibe. They know you a vibe. Let's not say they think you are because you actually are, okay? Now they see that, you know, your presence is a gift for sure. Okay, let's get more for air signs, for the weekly vibes and what's coming in this week. Queen of emotions in reverse. So that could be the person that was cloning you. They found out how manipulative this individual is. Let's see. Let me get one on the queen of cups. Okay, so now Spirit is letting me know that the Queen of Cups is actually how they see in you. Like, they understand that the reason why you're turning off your emotions to them is because they've been in and out of your life. That they try to treat you like a one-night stand and give you um, a role in their life that was way less than what you deserve. It's kind of like, you know... If I couldn't deal with you in the moment, then I should have just left you alone. Instead of expecting you to diminish, to diminish your worth for my ego, for my desires, for my self-gratification. This person is realizing that that was disrespectful. You get what I'm saying? What else for air signs? Dang, that pyrite just rolled over on its own. That's crazy. <sighs> What's coming in for air signs? I'm telling you, it's like this person have the desire to, and I feel like they could have been selfish in the past. So maybe this was like one of them one-sided situations where you felt like he was giving and giving and pouring and pouring. And like being really generous to this person, they want to have the opportunity to express that same thing to you. Because maybe because you weren't the only one, this person couldn't be as generous to you as you was to them. But this person is leaving behind something or somebody that inspires to be you. And that just further clarified the fact that, you know, you the main character. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's giving main character energy. And it's like, it might have taken this person a minute to see that, but they definitely seeing that. Yeah, the devil in reverse. They cutting off their toxic uh, attachments, their unhealthy attachments. I feel like they coming in kind of exhausted. You know, they realized that they held back their emotions from you or they went back and forth. Like, they tried to make this an on and off situation. But in this person's isolation or they isolated you, let's see, they could have even ghosted this person from the past. Hermit and the devil. Mm-hmm. Why is it that they felt like the collective wasn't, like, enough to invest in? Why is it that they decided that? Eight of emotions. The will. They was in a karmic cycle. They realizing that now. I don't know if it's once you ghosted them then they realize the feeling is not the same. Like they get a different feeling from you than they do from other people, especially somebody that they was in a karmic cycle with. This person realizes that the presence, like the, the good luck that your presence brought into their life, it felt stripped away when you pulled back your energy. And that like alerted this person to want to dig deeper and, and find, like, the spiritual knowledge as to why. And this person could have discovered, you know, they could have went down the rabbit hole about how relationships are, like, on a spiritual level. You know, different types of soulmates and what it looked like and feel like. And so this person gained some type of enlightenment on why it is that they felt such a strong connection to you. Versus why they felt such a strong connection to another. Okay. So it's looking like this person is a, uh, retracting a love offer. 
But at the same time, it's like they want you to take it easy on them. It's like, look at things from my perspective and understand that, you know, I was still in a cycle. And the reason why I felt led to stay with a particular person was because I still had more to learn from them. You know, so this person going to be coming at you with your own knowledge. Like, you going to be looking like, that. okay, uh -uh. You know, like, okay, you done did your research, I see. Because this person is coming back towards you more spiritually wise than when they left, for sure. Okay, I'm definitely getting that, y'all. Wow. They learned about past lives. They learned so much. So I don't know how long you and this person been apart. But, you know, I'm just seeing this a person with their face to a book, to the internet, to their tablet, to their laptop, just doing mad research to the point where this person kind of went into a bit of an isolation. Like, even if people came by to see this person or even if they live in a home with other people, they was just distant and distracted by their own need to, to research and teach themselves certain things. And it's like from their findings, they really do feel like they want to overcome. They really do see why it's so much strength in a connection where it's like they barely could even got to know you. You know, they could have known very little about you outside of the fact that, um, who outside of. What was I about to say? Outside of the fact that maybe they was like physically attracted to you. But, you know, it's a lot of physically attractive people in the world. You gave a different feel than just that. I feel like it could have been some gossip around y'all beliefs as well. You know, that this person may or may not have participated in. Okay? But I feel like if it, if it wasn't direct participation, it was at least to the point where this person... Where you felt, you felt like this person didn't defend you. Okay? Yeah, this is the king of wands at the bottom of the deck. This person is definitely um, taking charge, being a warrior, fighting for what it is that he believes in, making executive decisions, that's what I'm hearing, okay? The night of inspiration with the revert. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person tried to put you on a back burner. They tried to treat you like you wasn't the most important thing in their life. Okay, the moon. Yeah, see, you might not even have known that this person was in a relationship, but all you did know, like your intuition could have told you, and that could have been why you backed off, but I definitely do feel like they person did them the same way they did you, and they seen from your eyes how it can feel to be mistreated, to have somebody, like, just basically be self-centered and stingy and, like, taken from you but not feeling the need to, like, fill your cup. They got themselves in a situation where the outcome was the same for them. You get what I'm saying? It's like this person is learning. Yeah, like, this is just, um doubling down on the fact that this person realizes that the reason why they was attracted to the person that they chose to either stay with or, or go towards instead of you is because they still have more healing to do that that was the unhealed version of them that they wasn't in alignment with you and that's the reason why they felt drawn in an, another direction and so i feel like this person is proven to you in more than one way why they deserve another chance it's like i actually looked into this you know i researched this i want to offer you this this time around i want to invest in you i want to support you yeah this person wasn't supporting you and like i said it could have been to please other people because it was gossip around your spiritual beliefs you know whether it's that people thought you was weird or they just hang around very religious people and people was judging you. So if you was wondering why this person didn't support you in some kind of way, it's because of what I just said. People around them didn't approve of, of your way of being. Not of emotions in reverse. 
Yeah, they didn't honor this connection. I feel like they faced a little bit of judgment for that because I'm seeing kind of like a decline in their wealth, their growth, their elevation in life. Yeah, now it's like they follow in their inner compass because they realize that they can't move forward in life with um, the situation that they was currently or most recently entertaining because some of you guys, they could have already ghosted that situation. All right. And they could be, like I said, kind of in hermit mode right now. Just not really taking calls, text messages. Like, nothing is more important than them finding out more about themselves, you know. And, and trying to reconnect with the person that inspired that. This person is doing hard work. They willing to put in the effort to overcome, you know. It's like you've been a backbone in this person's life. They want to be a backbone to you in some kind of way. <sighs> I feel like you guys are like very stubborn when it come down to this. And this is what this person is afraid of. But that's what they want to communicate. I don't know if y'all going to leave them on red or what. But this person want to let you know that they left behind who they thought was their real twin flame. With the messages in reverse, it's like it might take you time to answer. It might make you upset to hear that. That somebody, you know... Somebody that's divinely orchestrated for you thought that somebody else was their person outside of you, but they realized that you're the one that they're supposed to have longe longevity, good luck, and prosperity with. Whoo, we, yeah. Y'all, main male, he putting himself first. He definitely is. He realizing that this person that they leaving behind really didn't have a key to their heart, but just the key to their, you know. I feel like it was strong sexual attachment and, and, and stuff. And that's why he deeming himself or deeming this situation as one that had to happen like this. And, you know, this person could be right. Consider the circumstances. Because at one point, you felt drawn to your karmic. You didn't want to leave that person alone. You get what I'm saying? And so that's what this person is trying to basically um come at you with like will you understand this stuff deeper than me because you know something sparked within me upon meeting you that made me want to know why why i felt like i felt around you but you already knew spirit is saying forgive from your soul okay i feel like this is gonna be different for everybody i'm mad i just now decided to clean off the lens oh but it's still blurry I don't know why it's not focusing. But some of you guys are meant to have a couple of, um, you know, spirit babies with this person. Some of you, Everybody's situation is different. So for some of you, if this person is already your child's father and you got two kids with them, it's like forgive from your soul because you know that you guys have a duty to, you know, set an example for children that you guys, or children or a child that you guys created for each other. And for those of you where this person still actually have a chance because you're looking at it from a higher perspective like this person is asking you to do, then it's like, you know, make sure this is something that deep down you can actually forgive. Not something that you're going to have to throw back in their face or that's going that you're going to allow yeah celestial alignment is in reverse that's what this person had to do this person needed to be in alignment with you you know that don't mean that they not that not your true cosmic lover that just means that they didn't really understand what all of this meant until most recent okay so yeah guys that's what i have for y'all for the weekly vibes Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.